Kate, I wish to take you back to a time before, I think, well, actually way before I even knew Nick. Mm-hmm. There was a show called Sword Art Online. Yeah, I know, I know, I don't know, I know. But it came out and it was a smashing success amongst more casual anime watchers. And then as like the re- the more experienced anime community started to experience it, they started to point out a lot of the flaws with it. Hmm. A lot of the problems Like with the it. fact that they had a really good concept for about four episodes, and then they just kind of trashed it. Yeah. And honestly, Sword Art Online, especially the first season, is made fun of relentlessly. Now, according to what everyone has said out there, I've only watched up until season two, um, according to what a lot of people say out there, Sword Art Online actually now is amazing. But the first season, we give Dodo shit a lot because he ranks season three of Sword Art Online on his my anime list as being higher than Spirited Away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't know if I can agree with that. I haven't watched season three, so I don't know. But he's like, look, like it's something I give a ten, and something I would go back and watch again. I'm like, you wouldn't go back and watch Spirited Away again? What is wrong with you, Dodo? I'm watching watched, this right now. I would Still, watch, what is wrong with you, Dodo? I would watch Spirited Away like over and We have and Spirited over again. Away like I'm pretty sure over there on the yeah, Blu-ray. Yeah, I have it in for the For watching book. over and over again. I have the Steelbook Blu-ray. I am never going to not have it's a way to It's also available on HBO Max. Yes. I'm never going to not give Dodo crap for that. But either way, though, Sword Art Online was really popular. And a lot of the people in the anime community... We're, we're just like aching for them to make an abridged version of it. Now, for those of you who are not... Now, Kate, abridged versions of you know, normal things are like whenever they remove things that aren't really important to the story and they just give you like the important bits. Mm-hmm. And more than that, it usually completely changes the original story well, and well, just does what they well, want Well, no, 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 no. I'm referring to like how abridged is looked at in literary terms... Normally, whereas in the internet... Normally, yes. Whereas in the internet, they basically just parody the hell out of everything and just make try to make it as funny as possible. <laughs> oh, hi, God! <laughs> Still one of my favorite things I've ever seen. All right, Besides all right. uh, the one you quote all the time, obviously, which is, and the brain damage, and the brain damage, and oh, the brain damage. Hey, when did you get here? <laughs> but also, like, Armin... I want you to listen to me, Armin. I'm gonna reach my <laughs> arm out, and you're gonna pull me out. Okay? Very carefully, very slowly. It's like, <laughs> all right, count to three. One. <laughs> uh, but needless to say, anytime you see a bridge with an anime, it usually is something very funny. The most famous of it it's is also uh, the Yu Gi Oh raps. <laughs> well, the, call me the Celtic Guardian, stronger than titanium, sold out all the stadiums. Not Jesus. a lower class dueling monster. Where do you get that ridiculous conception? Did the Blue Eyes White Dragon tell you that? Fuck so, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, uh, all in all, though, most famous versions of it are like Dragon Ball Z abridged, Yu Gi Oh abridged, Naruto abridged. There's there's a lot of them. There's but this one came out and set the internet ablaze. And we did a reaction to it a long time ago. And I was tortured by this reaction series, the reaction to this abridged series, because we didn't just get one copyright strike. We didn't just get two. We didn't just get three. We got four. We got two within the span of like three days. Then six months went by, and those two strikes went away, and then two more strikes. So... And for some reason, he's still deciding we're going to do it again. Because here's the thing. I've looked at it, and it would seem that everyone else is doing this. I mean, Blind Wave did it. The real re- From what I understand, the real rejects did it. A bunch of huge other channels out there have done it. 
And I'm pretty sure back when this was happening, what you said to me was someone clearly has something against us specifically. Yeah, someone clearly had an agenda against us, which... So hopefully that person no longer has the ability to have an agenda against us. But if they do, yeah. then you might not see any more uploads from us for a couple months after this. Exactly. And not only that, but if it happens we'll again... probably be somewhere thing. else whenever... Here, here's the thing. I have had people clamoring broke. to me for so long for us to do this series again or repost the original episodes. Here's the thing. The original episodes are all gone. They are gone. I erased them off the YouTube channel. And not only that, the original files do not exist anymore. So, if you want a version of it, if you want the original version of it, you'll have to find like an upload site somewhere that bootlegged all of our stuff and basically has it on there. Or like maybe the Wayback Machine or something. I don't maybe, know. I, I don't know. know if that works that way. I don't think it does. But people have been clamoring for us to redo this series. They have been aching for us to redo this series. So let me just say this. If this works and this, and this stays up, we will continue to do it. But if we get a strike, I'm sorry. There is nothing I can do. All right? I'm sorry. I want to do... I want to fulfill your all's request because I love doing videos and I like this series. But I don't want to risk everything that we built being burned down because of some random asshat who has an agenda against us. I'm sorry. <sighs> Just have to say that. So we're going to be watching the first two episodes of this in one go. And thankfully they're pretty short. So we'll probably be able to do them pretty quickly. But Sword Art Online Abridged Parody, Episode 1, by Something Witty Entertainment, which congratulations on hitting a million subs, Something Witty. That's, that's awesome. Really happy to hear that about y'all. But for the first time in a long time, this is a reaction I never thought I'd be able to see again. Are y'all ready? I suppose. Here we go. VR elements. Link, start! <sighs> Sword Art Online. It's been a while since the beta. Wonder if they changed anything. Aw, oh, come on, really? That's just disgusting. Activate ad blocker. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I am going to burn this f to the ground. Wow, congrats. You were defeated by a pig. <laughs> you, man, that's like the pig from hell. Really? Wow. My god. I've stumbled across the most powerful weapon in the game. Stop. The Mithra Pebble of Pig Smiting. Please stop. <gasps> For you see, long ago, this pebble was forged in the fiery pits of Tartarus by the Grand Blacksmith of Lucifer himself in a time before the world began. And thus, Marjosa, okay, for real, guardian stop. of the pebble, <laughs> fell to his knees and passed from this world, leaving behind the mighty weapon. For he knew that one day its power would be required once more. Are you done? Yes. But the legacy of the pebble lives on. I have a feeling you get beat up a lot in real life. Shut up! You're a power! <laughs> right. Anyway, I've got a pizza coming, and I'm gonna meet up with some friends later, so thanks for the quick tutorial on pig slaying, and the not so quick tutorial on rocks. Kirito? Hey, no problem. I had fun taunting you. Ball Steep 69? Yeah, it's, uh, oh that it's uh, just a joke name. Just a character to dick around with while I get the hang of the game. I'm gonna make my real character later. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I get it. Balls. So, um, your pizza? Right, right. Logging out. Hey, Kirito, um, total noob question, but how do I log out? Are you serious, you man? Come That's on, the fun man. part. It's nerve gear. I can't alt it for this sh**. <laughs> <sighs> All right, fine. It's right here oh thanks player's guide no it's here it's just blank wait there's something scrolling across mine ha 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 ha
It's so lifelike. Oh, hey, man. How's the train? Oh. <laughs> so many lawsuits. Um, do you feel tingly? No, why? What the hell is that? Well, Bozy, I believe the locals call it a hexagon? Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll have to check back with you. F*** off. And the sky is bleeding. And they're really working for that M rating. Oh my god, what's going on? Don't worry, baby. I'll protect you. Oh, it's a person. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kayaba Akihiko, head programmer. Welcome to the unparalleled online experience that is Sword Art Online. Hello, hello, um, hello, people. Kind of talking here. Focus. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and disable general chat here. Do you think he realizes he just muted himself? Give it a minute. <laughs> All right, I just realized what happened there. It's very funny, but right now, serious time. How many of you have seen Tron? Huh? Huh? What, what, seriously? None of you have seen Tron? Shit, I was really banking on that. Okay, okay, no problem. I can wing this. <clears throat> Much like the world of Warcraft, none of you are here by choice anymore. Unlike WoW, however, <laughs> you're being held here by me, not by your need to escape your empty f***ing lives. There is no longer any way to log out of Sword Art Online. If someone on the outside attempts to log you out by removing your nerve gear, well, has anyone seen Scanners? Uh, scanners. It's it's a movie that seriously okay. Oh, right, here we here we go. Watch this. Okay, that was from Scanners, and basically that. Okay, finally seeing some gears turning. We're making progress. Why would you do such a thing, Steven? Steven, is that you? Steven, how are you enjoying that advanced copy? I'm playing with my family. <laughs> oh, that's right. Happy birthday, Timmy. <laughs> Ah, uh, they grew up so fast. Cherish these moments, Steven. Cherish these moments. <laughs> so, as I was saying, the only way to keep the nerve gear from going all Gallagher on your gray matter is to make your way through Castle Einkrad and beat Sword Art Online. So, you want us to beat an MMO? Essentially. F*** you! Whoa! Getting a lot of hostility here. Don't appreciate it. Well, honestly, when was the last time you heard of someone beating EverQuest? When was the last time you heard of someone playing EverQuest? That's fair. Ouch. Anywho, mm -hmm. for all you guys who wanted to play as girls, and you know who you are, well, I've got a surprise for you. Kirito? Hmm? You're not a girl! And you're not 17! I'm okay with this! Me too! Love knows no gender! Jesus you look so Christ. young. And you look less hairy balls. My name is Klein. <laughs> no, it's not. As you can see, I have <laughs> peeled away your petty facades and revealed you for what you truly are. Fairly attractive 20-somethings, apparently. Good for you! Kind of undermines the whole cold light of day thing I had planned. But still, I'm gonna break down stereotypes. Except you, fatty. I'm gonna bring down the curve. Oh, oh, one more thing, one more thing. I should probably mention, if your health points reach zero, your real bodies perish as well. What? Uh, okay. If you die in the game, you die for real. What? Really? Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes, things are born. They live, and then they stop. Forever. What? Uh. <laughs> Oh my god! If we die in the game, we die for real! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that tabbed. And with that, <laughs> I bid you all adieu. Oh, 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 last thing, I swear. I disabled the profanity filter. Have fun with that! Fuck! <laughs> We're fucked! <laughs> Close enough. Understatement of the century, my dude. Bosey, I'm heading to the next town, and I need your help. Really? You need my help? Yeah, there's a mini-boss on the way, and I need some cannon fodder. You in or out? As tempting Ouch. as that sounds, I really should stick with my friends back there. They're about as skilled as I am, so I figure we have a better chance of surviving if we stick together. Well, monkeys and typewriters. Ow. In huh? any case, you may be the most unbearable asshole I've ever met, but you are really good at this game. We could use you in our group. What do you say? You can meet my friends, we'll form a guild, and have all these adventures. It'll be great. And he's gone. 
Well, screw you too. Think you're too good to join my guild? Think you're all cool because you know how to kill a boar? Also, he subscribed to Cartoon Hangover and ERB. <laughs> oh, and Freddy! De wow, this is like a this is like a little time capsule for like all of these all these channels and how YouTube used to look. Oh my God! I remember this. I remember when like whenever they released a new video, it counted how many like were new and you hadn't watched yet. I miss that. I also remember when they used to actually have a dislike button. Yes! Oh my gosh! <clears throat> Very slowly, you know, it had like or and dislike. A dislike counter, anyways. Yeah, and then they had the then they had the thing where they just stopped saying dislike and instead only had like up there, and then they discouraged disliking. And then they eventually just got rid of the thing altogether. Also, it, if you look over at the right hand side, there's like Nerve Gear Volunteer Kills Roommate, Nerve Gear Beta Freak Out Dance Remix. Oh, God. DJ Derp. Ugh. That's terrible. Anywho, yeah, so <laughs> that was episode one. Episode two. Oh, boy. This. So now you get the concept of what's going on here. Yeah, I get it. Okay. To be honest, the following I feel like I would have probably found this funnier if I watched it back then. Uh, it's a little dated on the humor now. In some cases, yes, but in other cases, it you'll see. Nonprofit fan base parody. Start Out Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. A month has passed since that fateful day when everyone's world got all twisted, leaving them stranded in a castle in the sky. Since then, 2,000 poor souls came to an abrupt and tragic end. Some by what bad luck, parody others right by sheer stupidity. I mean, really, why would you just stand and fire? Anyways, that didn't bother the kid none. He only cared about one thing, and one thing alone. Himself. Are they parodying in Bastion game of right now? Death, you either live or you die. Oh, wow. What brilliant insect. The music and the voice. Like, that's a parody of something, and I feel like it's Bastion. It's so deep, it loops right back around to being stupid. The kid ranted at no one. It's slowly dawning just how alone he truly was. Wait, what was that? He asked the sky like a preacher to his silent gods. What gods? What are you talking about? It's all bullshit metaphors with you. He cried, not knowing the difference between a simile and a metaphor. The tininess of his brain dwarfed only by the tininess of his dick. Narrator off. You can silence me, but you can't silence the truth. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I had a personal narrator in a video game, I guarantee you'd just be like, the, the fatness of this man could not be overstated. For every step, the earth groaned in pain. I'd be like, you know, I, you know, I don't have to have you on. Once again, he continues towards the objective in the distance, forgetting that he meant to do the objective that was right next to him while he was here. That's what it would be saying about me. <laughs> Always forgetting the side objective. I just have ADHD and I get distracted. I was like, fuck, I meant to do that while I was back there. Now I gotta go back again. Thank you all for coming to our little powwow. Now, I know many of you may be discouraged by the fact that 2,000 people have died so far. What? 2,000 people are dead? It hasn't even been a month yet. Oh my god, we really are fucked. And I know even more of you are a little down because we haven't even cleared the first floor yet. We haven't? I thought we were almost done. Uh, you guys do know there are a hundred floors, right? What? Oh jeez, I am just making things worse. Point is, we found the boss room. <gasps> Now, we formulated a few strategies with some help from the beta testers. Beta testers? Oh, god damn it! Kibao, what do you want? Beta testers? They're the reason we're stuck in this game! What? Do you have any evidence to back that up? <sighs> evidence? I don't need no evidence. Isn't that right, Jesus? 
It's pronounced Jesus, and I don't know you. Well, they still should have helped us newbies. If I might interject. And who the hell are you? I am known by many names. Mountain Slayer, Thunder Lion, the Chocolate Axe. But you, you may call me Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany, huh? That's a pretty masculine name. Shouldn't be. It's a woman's name. Okay, I don't know how to talk to you. Good, then you can shut up and listen. Does everyone here have this book in their inventory? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. No. Wait, can I change my answer? This book is full of tips and strategies on how to survive this game, put together by the beta testers. Everyone read it, yet some people still died. The beta testers did everything they could. Actually, I didn't read it. Yeah, I didn't read it either. I skimmed it. What? Didn't any of you read it? It is literally a matter of life and death. Well, dude, it's like 80 pages. 2,000 people are dead. They are? I am so done with you people. What do you mean, you people? So, as Mr. Thunder Chocolate was saying, this book has some great strategies, including how to beat the first boss, Ilfang. <clears throat> so, as you enter the boss room, he's gonna throw wave after wave of disposable minions at you. And you must answer in kind? Uh, what? Send the weaker players first. Good rule of thumb. If a player asks you for gold two seconds after meeting you, front lines. Ha! <laughs> Serves them right. If they hijack conversations to rant about their political views, front lines. Aw, oh, shit. If they ask female <laughs> yeah, sure. players for pics of their boobs, front lines. Oh, bullshit! That's discrimination! Oh. Now, now, people, I think there are some valid points being made here. Now. It goes on to say when Ilfang's health goes into the red, he's going to switch from his axe and buckler to something called a tall war. At that point, we should initiate a strategy called the final solution, and I'm just gonna stop reading! Oh my Jesus, god. Jesus, who wrote this thing? <laughs> Damn okay, it. so the guide's a bust, but it'll be fine. I'll come up with a great plan for us. Like what? Well, we could... Uh, uh, uh... I'm open to suggestions. Well, gosh, we could, we could, you know, like, group up. And, and hit it till it dies! Woo, nice! Yeah. High five! That's a good start, <clears throat> but let's hear some other suggestions. I'd like to hear more about this final solution. Fuck it, group up. So, why aren't uh, you joining anyone's group? I have my reasons. Is it because you're a girl? No! It's because I don't know how to play. Because you're a girl? No! It's just, I don't know how to open the menu. What? But you can't do anything in this game without the menu. How have you survived all month? How do I eat you? It's been a challenge. What about you? Why haven't you joined the others? Oh, lots of reasons. Mostly because they're a bunch of mouth-breathing neckbeards who think LMAO is how French people laugh. <laughs> That's so Lamau. <sighs> Lamau. <Wow. laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. Raffle Mau. Da 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 da. Raffle Mau. Raffle Mau. Okay, stop. Oh. You certainly speak from the heart. Funny, I thought I was speaking from my mouth, but eh, sure's what I know about biology. No one else wanted you in their group, did they? Shut up, it was mutual! Alright, looks like everyone's grouped up. Get plenty of rest tonight, people. We leave at noon. Ugh, noon? That's so early. <sighs> Alright, what about one o'clock? One? Dude, come on! Oh god, oh, fine. Wolf. We leave at the crack of 2.30, I guess. Lazy butts. Christ, I'm gonna have to set my alarm. <laughs> Okay, that. so there were a few more stairs than we realized. Apparently, real life athletic ability translates into the game. Good to know. Oh god, I can feel my lungs trying to kill me. Is this sweat? I feel a little. Jesus, this is sad. <laughs> Fuck it, why don't you all just take a <laughs> Cheetos and Mountain Dew break and we'll reconvene in an hour? Damn it, guys, I was kidding! You weren't actually supposed to take an hour! God, we've lost so much time! Let's just do this already! You all know the plan. <sighs> all right, men, form up in. Every man for himself! What? No! God damn it, guys! Yes. Squad B, quit attacking the boss and keep Sentinels off us! C and D, stop attacking from the front! Do you even know what flank means? Squad F, for fuck's sake, stop playing for jewels! Oh, Squad G, get in there and help A and B. Got it. Don't talk back to me. Oh shit, really? Okay, Asuna, what you're gonna want to do here is. Yeah! 
Wow, I thought she was hopeless, but her technique is flawless. If I didn't know any better, I'd say she was even better than I am. Kirito, I killed the thing and now it says I have XPs. Is that bad? Am I dying? Or maybe not. Yeah. All right, then, this last part's gonna take careful coordination, which is why I'm just gonna do it myself. Oh, shit. Diabo, look out! That's not a tall war. It's an Odachi! What's the difference? Well, a tall war is of Indian descent, while an Odachi is Japanese. While both are primarily slashing weapons, a tall war was favored by cavalrymen, as opposed to an Odachi, which was mainly used for dick measuring. He's gonna What's die long before you well, finish your description. Finish, I was getting to that. You see? Ah! Oops. Diabo! Drop. I was trying to say a Nodachi is a little bit longer than a Talwar, so it'll have more reach and do a bit more damage. And why couldn't you say that first? I like to think of myself as a teacher. Anyway, drink this. No, it's better this way. I just can't do it anymore. I had such high hopes at first, but now our best player is a girl who thinks DPS is some kind of sex thing. I know, it's weird, right? You're clearly not like the rest of them. How do you stand it, Kirito? Where do you draw your strength? I've been playing MMOs a long time, Diabo. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that lions do not concern themselves with the opinions of sheep. Just take that little voice in your head that tells to be tactful and understanding, and shoot it. Shoot it in the goddamn face. You are so wise. That is the... Uh, once again... Kirito is a pure cynic. Like, probably the most pure cynic I've ever seen in, in like in a comedy series and to see the to see it just fall on his see him fall on his face because his cynicism just destroys any hope of him ever getting to actually know somebody it's actually it's sort of like how Dennis Dennis is like a, a pure cynic and a and a complete Met egomaniac. Dennis is a psychopath. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, Dennis is a psycho, so. Always you. sunny. Huh? I He's talking about always sunny. Oh. <clears throat> if only I'd met you sooner, perhaps things would have been different. You must lead them now. Show them this game can be beaten. In another life, in another time, I think we could have been friends. I doubt it. Ouch. Well, fuck you too! All right, Kirito, here's what we'll do. One counters his blows to knock him off balance, and the other switches into attack. Rinse, repeat, victory. You came up with that, but you can't open a menu. Doesn't right, make a lot so of you sense, does it? All attack. Nope. What? No! It's my plan. I should attack. Fine, just get ready. Ah! Switch! See, you almost got yourself killed. I'll attack him. Oh, that was a fluke, and you know it. He's mine. He's mine! Fuck! No! He's mine! That was an unpleasant sound. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations! That was even more impressive than that cat I learned to play. Oh my god! Oh my you guys can see it too? So I'm not crazy! Isn't that great, Jesus? Yeah. That's right, Jeffrey. Now. Kill them all. As you command, my lord. You've led us Stop to victory, it. Kirito. The These men and I will follow you to hell itself. Now, address your people. I always knew this day would come. Ahem. Fellow gamers, we have traveled far and up many stairs to get to this point. Fighting side by side, noobs and leets alike. I'd like to take a moment to say that I couldn't have done it without the help of each and every one of you. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. Of course, I'm not a liar, so I'm not gonna say any of that. Oh, shit. I mean, really, I could have done this whole boss fight myself. But, to be fair, I guess it did absorb a bit of damage for me, which was nice. You were an adequate meat shield, and no one can ever take that away from you. Fuck, fuck, shut up, shut up! So, for those of you who came in late, and that one guy playing Bejeweled back there, shoot for the stars. It'll make it more fun when I kick you back into the dirt. You're not better than us! My sweet-ass code begs to differ. Damn it, he's got us there. Kirito, wait! I want half. I'm sorry, what? I want half the coat. I did half the work. I should get half the coat. No! It's not fabric I can cut. It's a bunch of ones and zeros. Fine, then give me the ones. Fuck you, I want the ones. Ugh. 
I am not having this argument. I'm dissolving this party. Kirito, if you walk away with my half of the coat, I will make your life a living hell! You know what? Fine. I'll give you the damn coat. Just send me a trade request. A what? Oh, it's quite simple, really. Just open your menu. Oh. <laughs> Even if he gave it to her, she wouldn't be able to equip it. No, exactly. It's like, it's like, it, it, that'd be the other thing. It's be like, okay, quick question. If I give it to you, how are you going to equip it? And she'd be like, fuck, fine, just keep the coat. And he's like, I intend on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> I know what that's from. Sorry. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So, here's the thing about this series is that it keeps going, and if this doesn't do numbers, guys, then I'm so then we aren't gonna continue. Honestly, I'm still. Here's my thing: Go is ahead. that I don't think people are going to enjoy my reaction to it very much. Go for it. Because I didn't have much of a reaction because I don't think this is for me. Hmm, fair enough. So, sorry guys. If you really expected me to laugh my ass off and give a big reaction to this one, I, I don't really know what to tell you, unfortunately. It was sort of a lost cause to begin with because the, co like, Sword Art Online, he was already sort of down on. I mean, I... I if it made me laugh and stuff, that's fine. It's just this kind of humor probably definitely would have got me back when I was in, like, high school and college. But, like, I don't know. It just it didn't really get me with many things. There was, like, a couple things in there. I was like, all right. Yeah, but, yeah, sorry if I didn't laugh at every joke, guys. Some of them just kind of wished me a little. Not really wish, you know. I got them. I got what they were going for. I'm just kind of like, eh, not bad, but not great. Uh, for me, for me, just... The commentary, it's like, much like those of you who still play World of Warcraft, you are no longer here by choice. Yeah, and I mean, that's a dated joke now. Like, that was definitely relevant back in high school and college, because like, haha, that game, we all can't stop fucking playing. I get it, you know? Nowadays, is World of Warcraft, it's just like, yeah, it still exists, and not all of us play it anywhere close to what we used to, you know? Fair <laughs> enough, yeah. Uh, well, what did y'all think? I mean, heck, I still, I still think in some parts it still holds up. Other parts, I'm just like, eh. It's, it's definitely like a, a, a time capsule. Yeah, I think I definitely like did 20, myself a disservice 13, by not watching this back when it first came out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I think you probably would have found this pretty damn funny. Yeah, I think I waited too long. Back on in it. 2013, 2014. Eh, well. Anyway, <clears throat> that's gonna do it, everybody. So, uh, yeah. That was Sword Art Online Abridged par uh, Parody Episodes 1 and 2. Let us know what y'all thought. And until next time, uh, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.